Hey guys, what is going on? This is Fi, and on working to my first tutorial, um, it's a pretty exciting one. We're going to be doing a really cool scope transition effect. Now I just quickly want to apologise as well. If my microphone goes glitchy at any time in this video, I do apologise because my microphone has been glitching up recently. Um, I'm trying to fix it, but hopefully it, it is fixed um, for this video. But that's just a quick warning, so if it does go glitchy, try to follow along on the screen as best as possible. Um, yeah, so actually into this tutorial, the effect we go I'm going to be showing you how to do today is um, the effect I use in my I Need Some Sleep edit, which featured Optic Saw and Raw Mikey. Um, I uploaded this yesterday, um, and I really like this edit. It was really clean, really nice, and I've got a couple of people asking me how to do the scope transition. So I'm just going to play it through for you here, and you can see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, that was a really, really nice transition. Just, I mean, in my opinion, it's really nice. You've got the nice stroke here coming in, and the scope fade in, and boom. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the actual s is the stroke is the size of the scope and everything. It's perfect. It's just such a nice transition. Um, so yeah, the example we're going to be doing um, today, I'm just going to show you. That I made this in five. I made this in five minutes, so it doesn't take long at all. So. You can see that, yeah, it's just it's really easy to do. Now, a lot of the stuff, like all the like the glow and stuff, you won't actually have to do yourself. Um, now, I actually downloaded the three D Stroke Glow by Optic Taser, um, and I've been playing around with all the different settings you can do, and I actually came up with this transition. Um, on my own, I didn't like see it in any edits. Um, I have seen it in edits since I've started making it, but it is really nice. It's not overused. It's not used much, and even still, if it is overused, it still looks nice, and it goes so fast you don't really notice it. Um, so yeah, the one thing you're going to need is to download his 3D Stroke Glow preset. Now you can access that easily by going to his um, YouTube page. There'll be a big annotation on the screen um, with a link to the video where you can download it um, from him. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make a new composition here. I'm just going to call this Tucked because I'm original, which doesn't need to be long, just 20 seconds just for this example. Um, I'm going to drag the clip I don't want to use in and then I'm going to drag in the actual clip I want to use, the clip I want to transition to. So let's just find, I want to transition, whoops, get rid of that. I want the transition to kind of happen like here, so I'm going to say at 12 seconds and 30 milliseconds I want the transition to happen. Now you can't just stick the clip in and fade in the scope, because if you actually notice in this the scope fades in and then the rest of the clip fades in, so that all the surroundings same on this one if you notice the scope just the scopes there, so we're not just fading in the clip. So there is some masking and stuff involved. So you basically want to find where he first scopes in on the clip. So I'm just dragging it down here. Uh, I want to go to like doesn't have to be exactly the first frame, but obviously give time for the actual animation to happen. Okay, so here's the um, transition. I'm just going to drag this to here. So now we have so far. You scroll through the first clip. Nothing, just a little quad feed and then it cuts straight to the scope here and kills and it has like all the surrounding HUD and so on now what the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer by holding command and D or control and D I believe it is on a Windows I use a Mac as you can see so the hotkeys might be slightly different if you don't know the hotkey you can go to edit and duplicate here um, now on this top layer you want to go along your toolbar at the top here and hold down on this one that should be a rectangle like that and select the ellipse tool now you want to hold down shift and basically drag something the shape the roughly the same size as this scope now because I've done it a bit off the scope I'm just going to kind of guess as to the right size like that and then go to the normal tool and I'm going to click one of the edges and hold and drag till I position it over the scope like this and there we go so now if we hide the the layer without the mask you can see now we have our scope 
and don't worry about these black borders and stuff it actually looks all right as you can see if i go back to here if i do this you can actually see the black borders but because the stroke goes around it you hardly notice it when it plays and it could have goes swipe by so fast you really don't notice it whatsoever so there we've got the scope now the next thing we need to do is actually fade it in so i'm going to go to the first one i'm going to zoom in quite a bit here not that far I'm gonna hit the the like just the scope and press T. I'm gonna hit the little stopwatch and turn the opacity down to zero. Now T brings up the opacity so you can animate it. Then I want to go to 45, so I want to go 15 frames forward, and I want to change it up to 100. So I want to take 15 frames to fade in. Now the next thing I want to do is hit T on the under like the this the main layer like the unmasked clip and I want to hit the keyframe again the stopwatch I want to turn it down to zero again and I want to fade this in but I want, I want this to take 10 seconds so 10 frames sorry not seconds so I'm going to fade it up to 100 so now scope fades in then the rest of the clip fades in now you can actually once this once the main clip is faded in fully you can hold shift command and D or go to edit and click split layer and delete the back half so now you don't have two two versions of the scope so the scope is only appearing for the duration of its fade in and then it cuts out here and it carries on and gets the triple I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this well I am trying my best to explain this so I'm actually just going to rename these layers I'm going to leave that one as it is I'm going to call this one main clip and I'm going to call this oh, whoops, scope mask like that so that's pretty much the basics of the non actual stroke stuff so I'm actually just gonna find where he shoots I'm gonna stick a song in just so we get the no, whoops press the wrong button get a nice kind of idea of the actual theme and it is this beat I believe whoops Ugh. can't seem to position it right there we go let's turn the volume down a bit let's play through this if you want to know any little, little trick you can hold command or I think it's control down I'm not sure um, and drag through and you can actually hear the audio yeah that synced up fine Okay, so now what we want to do is the actual stroke of the of the transition. So first thing is hit Command Y to bring up a new solid, or you can just go to Layer New Solid. Just leave it. I'm gonna call it Stroke for now. Make sure it's black and click Make Comp Size in case it's not. Yeah, okay. So now the screen goes black. You're like, eh? What happened? Okay. Now once you've installed um, Optic Tasers. 3D stroke settings you can just go to the effects and presets here to press 3D and you'll see it appears in presets and it won't be in downloaded presets that's a file I made myself but if you type in 3D after installing it you should be able to find 3D stroke glow by taser so I'm just going to drag this onto the um, oh, first thing as well make sure you're on the 10 frames before the fade in happens you then want to drag in the um, the preset onto the solid so now it, you can see it again you get all these fancy things appear here and if you scroll through it you get this weird thing happen like wait what's this this isn't what I wanted now this is actually a preset for one of his transitions he uses now if you press U whilst s selecting the solid layer you'll see that this pops up with some keyframes for thickness and offset on the 3D stroke you can actually hide the glow and the star glow, that's just the looks of the whole thing. So if I actually turn them off, you can see it doesn't look very nice, but if I add a bit of star glow and then the glow onto it, you'll see it changes it all completely. So yeah. So now you've got these keyframes that appear like this and this animation. We don't want this animation at all. We want to have a circle that goes around the scope. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the middle keyframe here, the one where it's like the biggest on the screen and change preset like on the presets on 3d stroke change it to circle cutout 
Now, it does. you can't choose basic circle because that doesn't work. You have to choose circle cutout. Now, it's starting to get there. As you can see, if we go through this, it starts to do this weird circle shape. But it doesn't even look like a circle. It's kind of a weird semicircle type shape, and it's really thick. Now, the first thing you want to do is change the thickness down. One, make sure you're still in the middle frame, and turn the thickness. I used about two. You can like have completely whatever you want. Let's just leave it at, say, four. There we go. So now, if we play through it, and you see it appears, and whoosh, like that. But it's still not the, the shape we want. We want it to be around the, the scope. Now, it's a lot easier to do this than you think. You literally need to click, make sure you've got the stroke layer selected. And you need to grab one of these red um, sides, red, red little boxes from either this side or this side. And just drag it in until it goes around the edge of the scope, like that. And the same on the top, you can just squidge it, scrunch it down a bit. So it kind of matches. And now if we play it through. Got the scope appears in the circle, scope starts to appear, and that appears. Now, as you can see, it is a bit offsetted, like it doesn't map the fade in of the actual main clip doesn't happen in time. So, I want the fade in for the actual clip to happen something like here, just before it finishes. So, I'm going to drag the two opacity keyframes, I'm just going to drag them back a bit so it's something like that. So, now if we play through it. The um, glow appears, stroke, then the clip fades in, and kaboom! There we have it. So I'm just going to add in a quick color correction. Uh, effect looks, looks. Just add in the color correction I'm using at the moment. Make sure it's above the stroke layer, and if we just zoom out a bit, bring the like the work area down. So you've got a nice little area to work with here and preview it you'll see that it's got the nice kind of really nice effect it's one of my favorite transitions to use at the moment as you can see it fades in like this and kaboom and there are a couple more things you can do which I'll show you in just a second so let's just watch this thing. <laughs> So it, it looks really nice in the end, like it go, as you can see it does go by really quickly so you don't really notice it as much but it's, it's still a nice effect you can have. Now obviously you can drag out these keyframes to make it longer and to make everything like take a longer amount of time but it's really up to you. Now there is a couple, one other thing I like to do is change the actual stroke colour. So under colour here just click that and I like to do a kind of a, great, a, kind of a bright peach, something like that. So now it looks, it's not like this bright yellow and it goes really well with this colour correction as well. It's like an angelic type look. So if we just round preview this one more time. Oops, didn't want to do that. I've got into a habit of pressing Control S when um, I'm editing, so I haven't actually done want to save this. <laughs> yeah, so it's got this nice white glow to it and then boom. It's really good to have a scope in, like transition onto a scope like that as well. <laughs> As you can see, it's, that's, that is literally all you need to do, guys. It's not that, it's not hard at all. You just need to basically choose the circle cutout, bring the size of the um, like solid down to match the size of the scope, fade the scope in, then fade the back clip in, and kaboom, you're there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, be sure to leave a like because I really like them. I, it was really great seeing 15 likes on my I Need a Sleep edit after one day. So I really appreciate that guys. Be sure to comment if you want to see any more tutorials, if there are any effects in that previous um, I Need to Sleep edit that you want to see, just leave a comment. And yeah, I guess I'm going to see you guys in another video. See ya.